we'll start by the overall stock market. You see this morning you are coming slowly but surely, yeah, with the uh, VIX continuing to trend down with higher lows here. So on the um, power indicator here, I want to show you. This VIX is still very, 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 very complacent. You know, we have a lot, a lot of complacency going on in the market still, right? And nothing is making this market scared. So I want to see if we have a, a rounded bottom coming here around this 13 area, either the new low on the VIX or the higher low here, rounded bottom and, and an explosion that nobody is expecting, you know? We have had a lot, a lot of complacency. And one thing that you need to watch as far as the market goes, guys, is going to be the LTY, the Russell. The Russell is very strong. So you need to watch this 2050 on the Russell resistance this morning. You know, if we crack this 2025 on the Russell, then we might accelerate to the 1980 Russell. So those are very, very important numbers on the Russell. If you guys are day trading the market for the next 10 days, see, I'm not even giving you stuff for today. This is the next 10 days. Watch this Russell. Watch this 2050 on the Russell, right? The 2025 and the 1980 on the Russell. Of course, what you'll have to look at here is Buy on blue, sell on purple. Well, we have a wrench going on in the US dollar right now, this 104.5, right? To this 103.3. See, we have a box like this, and then we have a second box like this, the two calculators, right? So for the market to go down, you need the dollar to go up. Because when the dollar goes down, there's risk on, you know, there's complacency, the same as you see the VIX dropping this morning, right? So it's very, very tricky here, the market. The market is holding, it's going to do everything that it can to hold the charts on the right, which is the 500 area, 502.5 area on SPY. See, we have a box on SPY, 5075, 5045, 502. And so it's very, very tight. They have a very, very hard time. 5075, 5045, that's only 30 points, 502. And then if they capitulate below the 502, now we accelerate, we do a, a, a cross below the 500, take some stop at the 497, and then they might, they'll do everything to hold 497 and this 502. And this, if it cracks, we'll look at it here. Let's look at chart by chart. And we'll look at the SPY. Because this is mainly what I trade. I trade the SPY options, zero DTE. Now, look, if you look at the big picture, we have 86% chance of a retracement. 86% chance of a retracement because we touched the edges of the calculator between 509 and 528. So above the 508, we are approaching above 86%, close to 100%. So you know, within the next couple of weeks, couple of months, before the elections, this 509, 528 is a huge problem. And we know, even if you look at the structure channels, that we are bumping here. We keep on bumping, bumping, bumping towards resistance. Okay? At one point, we are going to go here. Retrace at least the edge of the third, at the 475. 
And this is this is what I expect. I kind of expect this 475, 480 on the SPY to be kind of the important area of retracement, 475, 480. And that gives you really a solid plan, guys. It really gives you a solid plan to go. So if this is helpful, your likes and comments are appreciated. As always, I need you guys to help me be engaged on those streams so that others can come and, 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 and be helped and appreciate. Like the stuff I gave you for the past three weeks, four weeks, I've given you Ethereum. I mean, I literally, if you go back on the, I'll show you some of the streams here. Well, I show you Ethereum. At 2100, it's 3300, guys. This is over 50% return. I gave you like incredible stuff on ICP, incredible stuff uh, on, on a lot of um, stuff like Combase, Mara, Riot. So, your likes, comments are appreciated on the feed. So, this is SPY. Now, the last thing I like to look is the ZN, the bond, on the overall market review before we do the crypto review. So look, the bonds, if you look, you look the structure, buy on blue, sell on purple, and don't forget, below this video, you can absolutely, one of the tools, this tool, the, the, the uh, probability division of third, you can have a light version, not the premium version, but a light version absolutely for free. If you send us a text and you are in the US at 954-758, I think it is, 8145. It's in the description, US and Canada. Okay? And you can get the light version of this calculator, buy on blue, sell on purple for free. Now, if you want, then you have the premium with the return on invest in, investment and all time frame. So you can also use them for day trading and swing trading and long term investing. Now, I'm looking at the bonds and I told you. Three weeks ago, we are doing a shoulder on the bond ahead and construct a shoulder. And that's what we are going to do. And if you look here, we started in October 2022, the shoulder. And the shoulder was like roughly a year, right? Roughly a year. Well, this is what the bond might do. They might stay in the range, right? 117 to this 108. 117, 108 on the bond and play the range for one year. You have the shoulder here, you have the huge head here, and we have the structure box here. And so if you look correctly, the bond doesn't have a lot, a lot to go down here. They, they could go down to the 108, but I think the bond down, downside is limited here on that box, which means what? which means that the market downside is going to be limited, everybody. The market downside is going to be limited. And, and, and there's a lot of money on the sidelines that are waiting and waiting and waiting to deploy that money. So if we're at 109.24 and we know the bottom here at the edge is 108.12, it's not a lot, a lot of downside, which brings me back to the point that I think the 497 to the 475 SPY is going to be your absolute bottom within the next six months because it's going to play that range, 497, 475, and on the top, 509, 530 until we break. And there's a lot of money and excitement on the sideline. People are looking at soft landing. There's a lot of money, people that want to redeploy money from money markets back to the market. And a lot of people are observing, believe it or not, that the cryptos are flying and there is this fear of missing that is going to start coming. Okay. So I hope it was helpful. This was the market review, everybody. Uh, if we are looking at the SPX, that means that my retracement on the SPX top, the top side would be 5,300 with the edge 51.25. So 51.25, 5,300. And if we re-enter the structure, 
we need to go where the institutional zone radar are and the edge of the calculator, the third, the third, the third, and you are back at 4750. And that's what I'm going to go right now for 4750 SPX. And by the way, this is not a big retracement move for the overall market, guys. This would be only a 7 to 5% retracement, and it would be healthy, and boom. After the, like when we have the elections, clarity with the elections. So there's a lot of money on the sideline, higher low, higher low. They are looking for the soft landing. We are going to play the cut that this 4750 on the SPX will be an absolute support.